guys, my name is Joanna and welcome back to another video. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that this video is coming up. I have finished the sketchbook and I know a lot of you guys were very excited to um, have a sketchbook tour of this one and I know I'm super excited to show you guys because I'm actually really um, sad that the sketchbook is done. I do have extra sketchbooks ready so I'm gonna just start sketching right away as soon as this video is over. But not to ramble too much, I'll just get started with the sketchbook tour. So this sketchbook is from, I guess it's like a custom sketchbook, not a custom sketchbook, it's a specific sketchbook from the user Epow or Eeks on Twitter. I'll put her username on the screen as well as the, in the link in the description to her store. I believe this one is discontinued, but she does have other designs I believe still in the store from, la from what I've last checked. She might not. I don't know if she's restocking or anything, so um, I won't have the answers to that. Okay, so on the front cover of this sketchbook, I actually have quite a bit of stickers on here and the majority of them are my own stickers and the reason being is I like to customize my sketchbook a little bit. Um, it's just this sketchbook had the plain grid and the binder clip and on the back it has a coat hanger and the same plain grid. The only sticker that's actually not mine is here and in the inside cover there's a few. Um, I like to use the stickers that I make and I usually have extras or there's some faulty ones in the batch so I just pick out some that are not faulty and just use them for myself. I'll leave the size of the sketchbook and stuff on the screen so you guys can know um, the size of the sketchbook. I think it's pretty evident that it's probably a 5x5, no 5x5, 5.5 by 8 um, sketchbook. So it's an A5 sketchbook. I have a few more stickers in here. And the start and end date. So I started this sketchbook back in the summer, so in June, June 12th, and I finished it literally yesterday at 12 a.m. So I guess it'll be still today, on um, December 6th. So that's about six to seven months of the sketchbook, um, working with the sketchbook, and it's actually the fastest I've ever completed a sketchbook. If you watched any of my other tours, you would know that I usually take either like over a year. So this is definitely way faster. Um, so these stickers, this one is from, as long as, um, like, along with the diamond one, it's actually from Mendy Star one from Twitter. She does 17 fan art as well, and she has a beautiful 17 sketchbook. I believe it's still up for ordering, so do check it out. I have some stickers from Yoon, and I think that's it. There's a Molong sticker right here, and the rest of the stickers are mine. Front cover, as you can see, this one was the same one that I did a speed paint of, or speed drawing of, and it's actually the first episode or um, page in my series from my sketchbook doodle series, so you guys can check out how I made this um, in that video. I'll leave a iCard if I figure it out up here, so yeah, let's just keep on going. Hopefully the color's not too... Um, washed out. Here is Roa sketches right here. As you can see, I didn't use the full page for these sketches. I was still testing out materials for this sketchbook, so I thought I wouldn't actually enjoy using the Prismacolors in here, like the Prismacolor Cola Race, but I actually do. So Prismacolor Cola Race, normal pencil which to do some flower doodles as I was in the hospital waiting room, I believe. And then right here was with the... Hmm the Pilot Color Eno pencil. Here I have Vercon. I did this during a stream. So this is with the pencil crayon, so Prismacolor pencil crayons. Here I have a sketch of Kara I actually didn't test if this is actually focusing. That's bad. <laughs> I should just stop and check. Be right back. I do apologize if the beginning was any like blurriness or anything. I Hopefully this will be more focused. So a uh, sketch of Pinky or Kyo Kyung from Preston. Little bob bomb, little washi tape and pen doodle of Jonghan. And the rest of here is Jonghan, I believe. Yeah, ideal cut Jonghan. So I actually really like this one specifically. I think it looks quite nice. Here, so washi tape. Um, this is supposed to be a sketch of Jisoo. It looks low-key like L from Infinite. 
Um, here are the sketches. So I believe it's Hoshi, Minghao, and then Hoshi again. So here I have a bunch of washi tape um, along with one of my blue sketches of Jonghan. I just want to fit together and I was dumb and kind of used an X-Acto knife to cut the rest of the tape off right here so that it fit nicely and I cut the seam off so now my sketchbook slightly um, pulls forward because I cut one of the, oh what is it called, the stitches I guess in here? Oh, the signatures. I cut the stitches that hold up the signatures together. Um, here is Tag from Golden Child. I really do love Golden Child, so hope to draw them a bit more. A blank page. Here we have Minghao and then Zhonghan. So these were done with the palette color Eno and then using a water-based marker. A few more right here. Bongbongi or Jonghan's Bongbongi and then Jonghan. Here are some pencil sketches and these were just based off of references off of Pinterest. I really do love drawing like portraits or like facial features so there's a few here. I actually really like this one. A few more. I really love drawing eyes, nose, and like the mouth. Not fond of like the actual face itself which I didn't finish. Love playing around with hair. Um, Mayoshi Masaki. Um, I'll let you guys know him from my Instagram post where for that draw this in your style meme. So here he is. A few more blue doodles. So these are just chibi sketches using the Prismacolor Coal Erase. So you got Wanu, Wanu, Vernon, Vernon, June, Wanu, Wanu, <laughs> Uzi. Of Wanu right here, Wanu, and a few bonbonis that I was trying to figure out how I wanted him to hold a little cup or like a mug because I wanted to use it for a charm design. And then more bonbongi doodles, which is also the winter and summer freebies. If you order from my store, I always add a bonbongi um, sticker sheet if your order has any 17 like merchandise included. So, yeah. Um, little June. Fighting the little Gudetama headband and this is done in pencil crayon this is also done in pencil crayon and I have another one here but I lost a reference and I kind of didn't want to just randomly use different colors without not knowing the reference for the values so moving on uh, here we have pencil crayon sketches so the reason I call these sketches more so than um, finished doodles or anything or drawings is because I leave in the guidelines still. I don't erase them after inking and sometimes um, the ink smudges, so I don't really care about that. I just wanna make stuff look colorful. Um, here of Roa, and I used alcohol markers here. Same with the one I did of Tag, uh, the one you saw previously. No sketches here. Little sketch, I believe this was supposed to be Jisoo or Joshua from 17. I didn't like how I rendered his lips, so I just covered it up. I don't cover stuff often, I usually leave them as like as it is. I think there's like only two instances where I actually covered stuff up. And here is another page. So this page is also, I believe it's page two in that series, my sketchbook doodle series, so you guys can see the process of me drawing, um, or how I like to do my layouts for um, sketch pages, I guess. So this is what happens when I like to mindlessly doodle. I compile a bunch of references and just kind of doodle and sift through and kind of like mismatch them into like a page. I have Unwu from Princeton and Nayang from Princeton. Um, here I have just a random drawing. This one's just like coming from my head. Um, kind of a concept that I did for my painting about a year ago I believe so kind of the open neck that's kind of like a ribbon and kind of hollow and it's kind of like spiraling as it was cut or something and then kind of like a peaceful demeanor of a person's face so this is very much like the generic face I draw if I don't use references I need to practice drawing more different faces and stuff Wonu from a draw this again I'll post maybe the picture of what 
my old version of this one looked like. It was supposed to be another page in this series, but I decided not to because it's just, I don't know, I don't really like how it turned out. It looks better than my old version, but still not happy with this one. Um, so Chani, Chani, and Wonu. Going 17 doodles. Diamond frame. Um, so this was using water-based markers mostly, um, along with my color Eno pencils and then some Stadler fine liners, I believe. And I'm just like, I wa I rewatched the episodes like several times and then I pause and sometimes I screenshot or I just pause and I just doodle and jot down stuff. So here is that. The funny thing is when I decided to do this, I wrote down the title. So I wrote Going 17 spinoff episode 13. And then when I came back to do the doodles, the video was either not taken down, but it was like not available anymore. So I decided to go to the next page, do Going 17 spinoff episode 14, because I was a week, not two weeks late to do this one. So I decided to do this one instead. Um, there's still a lot of cute moments. Then I had to come back and do these ones after. Still very cute. Hope to do a few more of these for Going 17. I feel like it's just a fun way to like document stuff. So, yep. Here, this is when 18 was released. Do the bumble games of the members who participated in the OST. The Woozy from KCON LA. I have Wonu with the Vernon phone case. I also have a picture of Junghan with the angel wings. This is one of my favorite spreads. Um, I like how I separated it with blue and red and kind of used the washi tape. I also like how I rendered June's pillow. So I have June, Mingi with their long receipt, I have Boozy, I have Wanu, I have Hoshi, Chani, or Dino, and then D8. This one's my favorite though. So. You get your pile of rendering like, objects and stuff. I just find them, like, them um, the with the value and stuff and make it a little bit more famous, like three dimensional. Here, a little sketch. I was planning to make this a charm, didn't happen. A little sketch of one of the photos that Sungwan took. Um, and then here I have Wanu as a white mage, black mage, I don't know, as a cleric <laughs> basically, which is really random. This is the second thing I actually covered up. And then a sketch of Yuha from Preston, which I actually really like this one. Maybe it's like the way I rendered her hair, but I think she looks really cute. More little pencil crayon doodle. So I have Mingyu, Singguan, Vernon, Wanu, Mingyu hitting Junghan, and then little Wuzi. Here I have Do Gyam, just a sketch of him. I actually like how I did his face. Kind of looks like him and kind of doesn't. Hmm. Okay, so another page of Going 17, so another spin-off um, episode. I actually quite like the colors here. I don't, I'm not sure if I like this one per se, but I really like this doodle. And this one of Chani. It was also Eskips' birthday. Um, Hoshi, so you guys can tell, this one was in, these are in August basically. This is Eskips' birthday. A little sketch of Hoshi, pencil crayon, drawing of Chani or Dino. I haven't done pencil crayon portraits like in a while. I haven't done one since like December of last year, which I did one on tan paper for Jisoo's birthday. So it's a nice change of pace. FD, Jonghan, and Escoops. I was just kind of getting out my need to render like bulky or really puffy sweaters. So right here and here. More Masaki doodles. Masaki is like my child, so. If you guys ever want me just to do a Masaki drawing video and I can talk a bit more about him. He's kind of like my only OC I have now because I kind of like disowned my other ones. Because <laughs> I had like 12 other OCs, but I think I'm only going to keep Masaki. So going 17 spinoff, episode 16. I was going to do a spread. I decided not to. I was hitting more of an art block and I literally didn't want to draw anything traditionally that day. So I did most stuff digitally. So I came back. I did a doodle of Wanu from airport fashion. And I don't remember what this June one's from, but here's June. 
Um, this one reminds me of my printmaking stuff I used to do back in university. So playing around with like technology and wires and stuff and connecting that to the body. So this is just myself and I have wires coming in and out of my neck. Um, here I have two little doodles of some like sweets, so a cupcake and a cake. Um, the thing with these ones, I tried using watercolor in this book and they don't, they apply like somewhat smoothly if you use only one um, wash. So I did that for the most part. I tried to add a little bit more afterwards but it kind of um, pills up the paper. And then I decided to go over pencil with this one and using the white gouache to do a little bit of highlights. And then for here I used pencil crayons and a little bit of, actually I think I just used pencil crayon watercolor here. There might be a little bit of gouache. Um, so these are actually from my Instagram stream. So two doodles of Junghan and then Wanu doodles. And this one is my Wanu um, animation or GIF I made. I'll pop that on the screen so you guys can see what this came um, to be after. Because it's literally pulling, like him pulling a sprout from his head because I like to draw Wanu with a sprout on his head. Um, here, hands. I was gonna do um, sketches of the Shea one like one thousand challenge. I decided not to in the end. It's just I know it's gonna be too con time consuming from what I had planned with Inktober um, coming up and stuff. And I decided that these hands are too stylized for me to like actually understand how the hand was gonna work. So kind of abandoned that. I might come back to these a little bit later, but right now I guess let's just focus on Masaki. So I got these. Uh, super tips, the Crayola super tip washable markers. So this is when I was testing it out and seeing it like how much can I scrub out the paper before it starts to pill. Uh, so Masaki doodles. This is when Masaki's color palette changed to from like this light blue to like this nice kind of teal green blue kind of color. I feel like it fits this color scheme a bit better. Some more masaki. These were to answer questions on my Instagram. My cute nervous child. <laughs> um, these are little doodles I did at my dad's workplace. I just took one of his um, tiny little post-it note pack and decided to doodle a bunch of masaki. This was done using Copics. For some of the Copics react a little bit weirdly to this paper, though other brands of like alcohol markers don't react weirdly, so I don't know what's up with that. Here's one and like another favorite spread um, in the sketchbook. That's like something I do a lot in the sketchbook, it's like spreads. And it's because the sketchbook can lay flatly quite nicely as long as you put two binder clips to keep it um, flat. So these are also using a needlepoint pen and I'm just drawing over post-it notes. So originally I put a post-it note here to cover up the the bleed through from the Copics and you can see a bit of it still like across his chest maybe a bit down here on his arm but um, I kind of like using these really vibrant sticky notes to kind of do like color blocks I kind of like abuse that a bit later you'll see but there's some areas that like it actually looks quite nice I think the spread works nicely with the blue and yellow um, so random girl I saw on Pinterest and then the Hoshi, Wonu, um, Jonghan. It's just halfway there, but it's actually the next page. It's actually halfway of the sketchbook. But Jonghan and the eight. This is one of my favorite, I think. This one. Here's some more mismatching of the post-its. I wish I used the brighter one, but I didn't have any at the time. So this is Pinky, Yehana, and Yuha from Preston. I actually really like this one. She looks really funny and like cute. Um, these ones are Kay from Lovelies. Here's another page that I do quite enjoy and I also don't like as much. Just maybe a little bit too much black on the page. So we have Jonghan, 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 woozy, woozy, woozy. Yep. And then this is the start of Inktober. I'm just gonna flip quickly by these because you guys would have saw these in my Inktober video. So day one, day two, Songtoa. Um, day three, Jonghan. Day four, Jisoo. Day five, Jun. Day six, Hoshi. Day 7, Wonu. Day 8, Woozy. 
D9, Ming Hao. D10, Ming Gear. D11, Do Gyeong. Uh, D12, Mantle. D12, Singguan. Um, D13, Vernon. D14, Dino. By the time I hit Dino, I was literally, like, not wanting to do Inktober anymore. This is the two week point, so I was halfway. So here's day 15, day 16. So Jam Jam and Front Team. 17, 18, Love and Letter and Beautiful. 19 and 20. If I'm counting wrong, I'm gonna be like so confused. Um, My Eye and Rocket. 21, 22, Falling for You and Call Call Call. Day 23, day 24, Holiday and 18. Day 25 and day 26. So June and 95 line. 27, 28, 96 line, 97 line. Day 29 and 30, I believe. So we have Machne line and my most favorite <laughs> Wanu Doodle this year. Um, you guys would have seen I've done so many, like I've done paintings of him, I've done stickers of him. He's He just looks so cute. I, I love this so much. Um, and day 31, which I actually detest, but that's okay, um, based off of their Halloween V Live. Um, really crudely done, but oh well. Um, I usually don't use my sketch this my main sketchbook for planning, but I had planner ideas and stuff, and one fine day um, moments and stuff. So if you guys are interested in planner stickers, I do have a 17 one fine day one. I have succulents and some plants and some sweets on this page. Um, more bonbonies to plan out and fill up the the freebie sticker pages. I have some logo stuff that I'm gonna be turning into a sticker page sticker page sticker set or a planner sticker I have it in progress right now a little doodle when I was at a cafe with my friends let's see um, more bonbony doodles so this is literally to fill up the rest of the set um, as you can see this is how small my planner stickers are they're really tiny so I have a few from like I have a few defects so the color was peeling off of these ones because I didn't print it correctly um, some sketches of characters from the anime Boku, no, Kimi to Boku. So I have um, Yuki, Yuta, Shun, and Kaname. And then a Chizuru here and uh, Masaki Sato. Or Mary <laughs> in that anime. I was just like binge watching that anime again. I love the calm vibe from it. So Masaki again, which is like a little baby OC. I guess he's not a baby, he's 21, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Um, Mingyu with this really vibrant fluorescent like greenish yellow highlighter color post-it notes. Once again to cover up the um, alcohol bleeding, the alcohol marker ble bleeding through. Um, testing ink. So this is, I was testing this just at the halfway point of doing Inktober because I was kind of regretting not doing like washes or something. It works okay in the sketchbook but it would definitely would have worked better if I did that on a watercolor paper. Little doodles of Wanu. Definitely very lazy doodles. Non-finished sketch of Roa. Little Wanu doodles. And I was using this weird kind of um, pen. It's like a dip pen but you know it has its own ink or whatever in it. But it doesn't work as nicely. It scratches the page like terribly. <laughs> Um, and here's another portrait on another cafe date with friends. I don't do realism too often and because I didn't tilt it, her face is quite like wide and long so I should have, I could have fixed it but I guess I didn't notice it at the time. More pencil crayon doodles right here and then some Wanu like doodles with alcohol markers. Um, Wanu and Chani, and once again covering up the alcohol bleed through. And then here's June, here's Megamine from Konosuba. And then I have washi tape from Yoon. I'll leave her information in the description if you guys are interested in her um, 17 merch. I have a picture of Masaki, which I've done with alcohol marker as well. And I'll make sure to put this, or not make sure to put this, I drew this on cardstock and I just pasted it in because 
alcohol blood free from um, Megumin as well and then I could have just used something I've already done to cover it up and here I have Mingyu, just a sketch when I went to work um, Going 17, episode 21 spinoff so I did these on also cardstock and then kind of just compiled them into like a scrapbooking way so I thought this looked really cute so might do a little bit more of this in the future here I have Wanu literally all Wanu sketches and you guys would have saw this from my other um, sketchbook doodle um, page <coughs> a little bit more of Wanu some planning of poses right here thank you so I actually have a painting of this on my Instagram now and on my Twitter and on my Tumblr um, but yeah, I did the sketch in the sketchbook and transferred it to watercolor paper. Um, Doodle of Wanu, some Oddishes. I don't know why I was obsessing about Oddish for some reason. Um, Wanu and Wanu again. Um, Jonghan and Wanu from their MT, the second episode, when they're playing that game where you have to press the bell um, and pick up the cards or whatever. Mingyu. Um, some doodles right here so I'm trying to plan out a new charm for myself just a one-off charm and I'm trying to make a new book sprout wanu charm for myself so I'm kind of debating on these or a gamer wanu um, charm for myself <clears throat> so just designing them here um, this is actually the last page of my sketchbook that I did Oops, sorry about that so this is actually the last page I did because I did two alcohol drawing marker drawings um, prior to this. So this page was lost. So I did this with another needlepoint um, pen and I just sketched underneath prior to inking. And I think I actually really like these sketches other than the one of Sun Guan. Um, so here is a chibi drawing. So I have Jonghan and Wuzi. It definitely smudged here and I'm disappointed that I didn't let the ink dry longer, but other than that, it still looks kind of cute. Another page because alcohol blood through here and alcohol blood through here. So kind of use post-it notes. I kind of wish I staggered these as well to make it mirrored, but I guess I didn't. And yeah, so D8, Wanu, and then Dogyang. I should really like how these came out for the most part. They're still quite messy, but I still think they came out quite nice. Last page basically has an illustration on it. So Masaki and it says goodbye. I think I'm going to keep the trend of making my last page in my sketchbook with goodbye on it so I can continue to a new sketchbook. Um, so yeah, Masaki done with alcohol markers. It looks kind of derpy and his face is a little bit fat here, but you know, it's okay. Um, so here I did a test page. I think I'm going to do this for every sketchbook that I get that I'm not used to. Um, but yeah, so I did any medium that I plan to use. So I have pencil crowns here. Watercolor, colored, you know, pens, um, have stickers here, and alcohol markers, and colored pencils, water-based markers, um, swatches of my other alcohol markers, stickers, Coke-Cakes, some washi tape that I'm using, um, this back pocket as you can see I'm sticking up here, and that's um, what I usually carry with me just in case I want to um, cover anything up. And then I have some washi tape right here. into the back pocket of the sketchbook. I might transfer these to my new sketchbook, which I'm going to show you guys shortly, but for now they're going to stay in here. So that's literally the end of the sketchbook. So I know six months might be too long for some people, but to me that was like in record time, like pretty much half the amount of time I usually use to fill up a sketchbook. So I'm going to quickly show you guys the sketchbooks that I might be using. Um, for the next sketchbook series as well as my new personal sketchbook and for anyone who's wondering the sketchbooks literally just kind of like my guilty pleasures or like just for me to de-stress it doesn't have 
any like super finished works where they're like meant to be I don't know, like, taken seriously they're literally just like doodles and sketches and just for me to relieve stress so that's just a heads up or I guess too late at this point um, the two sketchbooks that I have one is by Mendy Star One if you guys are a 17 fan um, definitely look into the sketchbook it has the flower designs from their um, flower version I don't know which version it is white version probably the white version of teenage that has all the flower um, pictures and on the back it has their rings I might put stickers on the back side of this because I don't want to ruin the cover and then the other sketchbook that I'm looking at using and I'm most likely going to be using this one it's like at this point 80% sure I'm going to be using this one first is another sketchbook from ePow so this one's from Mindy Star One and this one's from ePow or Eeks and it has this beautiful design on it like I loved how like so this is a cloth bound book so it's a hard cover but it's cloth bound so this one's kind of like a fake lever you guys can probably see um in here it has a cloth for the spine same with the Mendy one. Comes with a what is this called? Elastic band. It doesn't come with a bookmark this time, which is a little bit sad, but um, she did give free bookmarks with her um, design as well. I think Mendy did too. And this paper is very, very similar to the one I just used. The only difference is that it's a little bit less smooth and a little bit less thick. But other than that, it should work fairly similar to the sketchbook that I just finished. So I'm happy to use these sketchbooks in the future. Um, so do check out these artists. I really do admire Epow's work and I really do love the stuff that Mendy Star also makes. So please do check it out. I hope you guys do enjoy, uh, did enjoy this sketchbook tour and I hope it wasn't out of focus or a little too scattered. Um, I'll talk to you guys next week. I probably won't do any voiceovers for the next few videos because my brother's gonna be home and I don't like filming audio when anyone's at home. So yeah, um, probably just a few speed paints. Maybe the first page of the sketchbook might be in there. Uh, we'll see. And thank you guys very much for uh, giving some love and support to that animation that I did. I did read the comments and I'm gonna take some of those into consideration when I'm doing the next few animations throughout next year. Um, also, announcement. Um, I'm working on a calendar project with a bunch of lovely um, 17 artists. There's about 19 of us and it's being held by the lovely Gabby and it's basically a non-profit um, project so basically all the profits and stuff will be going to be donated under 17's name so please uh, do check the description for any info about it. I am working on a calendar page for the month of December and as well, I'm in charge of making stickers for freebies and stuff if you do pre-order. Um, I believe we're only going to be doing pre-order. It's only available to people in North America, sadly. But if you know any group order admins that are interested in this, please contact them and see if they're interested in holding a group order for your country. But like I said, I'm in charge of doing um, planner stickers as well as printing off stickers from the other artists that they're going to compile. They're drawing like members. Um, from different eras or different themes and stuff and then I'm gonna be compiling them to make sticker sheets and Yeah, planner sheets are on me. So that'll include like logos diamonds like little sayings Anything that you can put on the calendar. They are transparent stickers So I hope that you guys will look forward to it. It is a small desk calendar and it's a 19th month I believe calendar so each of us artists get um, one month and yeah, it's 17 themes, so I hope any carrots would be interested. Like I said, it's a non-profit project, so all the donations will be donated to a certain foundation or a charity, and it'll be under 17's name. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!